What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. It's Kyle here from Colossus Fitness and today we just wanted to give you the top five unique and hidden mistakes that are leading to you not being able to lose the fat that you're striving for. Now I just wanted to start this video saying no you are not cursed, no you are not uh, you know, genetically ungifted, no your metabolism is not the absolute worst. A lot of times people use this as an excuse because they try something and they fail and we wanted to give you five mistakes that you can fix instantly and number one is just simply underestimating your calorie intake. And a lot of people are thinking, no, I'm logging everything perfectly, no, I know it. But there have been so many studies, and there was actually one, we'll put on the screen here, where um, a lot of women actually guessed they were having 1,300 calories, and they ended up having um, almost 2,500. Now that's almost double, and I know this is pretty extreme, but there's numerous, numerous studies saying a lot of times people are well um, underestimating, and the reason is because they're snacking, the reason is because they're not using a food scale. There's so much that goes into it. Make sure to click the second link if you wanna watch a full video on why you may be underestimating, but this alone, as you know, you have to be in a calorie deficit, so fix this, and I believe this is the number one thing. On to number two. And number two hidden mistake is just not being consistent. A lot of people are thinking, no, trust me, I'm being consistent, man. I've seen a lot of people say that, and you know, without being too rude to you, there's a lot of times that it's actually not the case, right? There's a lot of times you will just overindulge on the weekend. There's some times where you're one week on, one week off, and a lot of times just being super consistent while having the right game plan and everything is the number one thing that will just help you succeed in the long run. So really try to dial in and try to figure out a game plan of how you can stay super consistent with everything that you're doing, with your training, with your sleep, uh, with your stress management, with with your water, with everything like that, finding all these areas and being super consistent. And you don't have to be perfect. I always use this analogy, it's kind of like a light switch. On your journey, you don't always have to be 100%. The lights don't have to fully be on, but a lot of times people kind of go 100% and then all the way down to zero, right? You can dim the lights, you can bring it down to about 50% if your week is super busy. You don't have to just give up everything, stay consistent, and this will help out a ton. <sighs> Please, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it goes down. Oh. It's the same weight. No, but in all seriousness, I think uh, number three, one of the biggest mistakes is just not weighing yourself correctly. You're wondering what the heck does this have to do with anything? A lot of times people have the Weight Watchers mentality. They weigh in every single Sunday. They don't track data accurately. I'm a huge fan of tracking data. And for me personally, I'm a huge fan of weighing in every single day when you can remember and calculating the average. And what happens is when you just do one weigh in a week or every two weeks or whatever, you don't really know what's happening and you can also very much get discouraged right there's numerous reasons why the scale will shoot up um, on a day-to-day -day basis and it can allow you to just not have proper data get discouraged not really know what's happening and if you can calculate it on an average point you can realize after a few weeks of stalling out okay maybe I need to do this better maybe I need to weigh my foods better maybe I need to increase intensity like there's always changes you can make so once again this is a very common mistake I highly encourage the same time um, the same spot in your house uh, the same clothing before you go to the washroom you know, the scale's not everything, but it is good data to help you know what's happening in the body. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm tired, man. Whew. Number four is simply moving too much. Some of you are gonna be thinking, what the heck? I'm able to move too much. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because a lot of times people just beat themselves up until they're black and blue. And one of the most common themes, and moving is great. I think it's one of the greatest things you can do. I highly encourage it. But a lot of times people actually overestimate how many calories they burn from their strength training workouts, from their cardio, from everything like that. Obviously our body's always burning calories, but when someone does a class, for example, they think they're burning way more, then they end up eating more, and then they end up being out of that deficit, right? And even some studies have said that treadmills and machines like that will actually overestimate uh, your calories expenditure by up to 25% so simply just not relying on this data making sure to underestimate it and not just depend on okay if I move this much I need to eat this much just simply finding a way of being a consistent calorie deficit and maintain that is gonna be game-changing but don't just try to you know move 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 because that's not always gonna work and number five hidden reason is because you're actually doing a body recomposition now a lot of times people get demotivated because they're constantly only looking at the scale they're thinking they're not moving in the right direction now the reason I bring this up is because there are a lot of people who can actually gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. Click that third link in the description. We have a full podcast with our biggest tips on that. But I just wanted to talk about a few things because if you're just dependent on the scale and you are doing a body recomposition, if you're someone that's new to lifting, if you're someone who's been overweight, if you're someone who's kind of a bit untrained, you can do it. And you may notice and think, wow, I'm not moving in the right direction. So what I want to suggest is really making sure to focus on strength gains. If your strength is going up, if your measurements are moving in the right direction, 
you can lose inches on the waist and gain arm, uh, inches to the arms and the chest and everything like that. So really making sure that you realize that it is possible to do a body recomposition. But I don't want you to use this as an excuse to why you're not losing weight and stuff because this is only for a select amount of people. So make sure to check out that podcast. But just to end this, if you are someone who is looking to do a body recomposition, you're looking to lose fat and gain muscle, we've literally helped over 200 people do this. You can see on the screen here. We want you to be our next success story. We are only looking for four more people who are looking to not only lose fat, but also gain muscle in the next 90 days at a discounted rate. Yes, this is an investment, but I guarantee you this will be worth it for the rest of your life. So hopefully you found value. Make sure to apply. First link in the description. First four applicants, if they're great applications, we'll accept them. We'll go through an application process. Make sure you're the right fit. We appreciate you and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.